Brian here for quantlabs.net. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, MATLAB again. Um, part of my struggles with uh, coding up algorithms and strategies and trading uh, models, signals, all that stuff. Uh, there's been always two two big challenges: is uh, real-time analysis um, as well as the code generation from uh, within the MATLAB environment, and then being able to bang out the um, the algorithms or MATLAB scripts into something like C++ using a MATLAB coder. Um, I think I found a better alternative um, and this all stemmed from my research with uh, FPGA. About FPGA it is easily the fastest way to uh, build or I should say build a, um, a, uh, uh, a trading system or automated trading system but it's definitely the fastest way um, to execute trades and algorithms and all that stuff. Uh, and from that analysis came the Simulink because that's where everything's done is in is within Simulink, which is part of MATLAB. Um, you can do do it all visually. Uh, the nice thing about it is is that with this ability you can um, build uh, algorithms uh, visually, no different than with something like trading technologies or uh, using their X Trader platform. Um, which is very expensive, but with this, you get quite quite a huge, uh, bigger ecosystem, probably for the same price. I mean, it's not a, a cheap option, but it's something worth investigating, considering if you're going to be hand coding uh, your algorithms and strategies from wherever, if it's C++, Java, or Python, or whatever. Um, it just takes a long time to iterate through to get the model or the um, the algorithm correct and validated which takes an incredible amount of time and it's a very intensive process. I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to uh, develop algorithms and trading strategy strategies in, in a rapid way. That's why I always come back to either R or MATLAB but uh, with the Simulink you can now do it visually. Um, I'm going to give you a quick demo of uh, the Simulink environment itself. Um, essentially what you get is you get um, a bunch of libraries, all, all these different what's called blocks of different types of logic. Um, in this case, you could theoretically build um, your math algorithms using, you know, the basic uh, math functions that you can find um, in here, uh, where you know I've your add and absolute and all that stuff. But um, you don't have to go through that pain to visually do that. You can pull in a MATLAB. Uh, M function within uh, the Simulink environment. I'll probably show that in, in future videos. I've, I've already put up notes on the blog about it, um, but uh, this this can be done. So this this is the library that you get. Um, it's very extensive out of box. I mean, obviously, if you get some of the other aerospace block set or whatever, this is basically for electronics and mechanical and engineering type of applications but I thought why not use it for financial I mean the concepts are the same so this is the uh, set of blocks you get um, the other thing is is that um, when you build a model I'll just show you that in a minute uh, when you do build a model um, I'll just show you how, how this is done uh, now this is a MATLAB model this is using uh, the Simulink block diagrams that I just showed you. Um, so what you can do is, let's say, I, I don't know, I, I know nothing about these blocks. I'm fairly new at it. You just drag and drop. Let me do some other one here. Okay. Now, when you double click these, you get, um, uh, let me just choose a better one. Yeah, you, you get a, a, a breakdown of different options uh, for, for those blocks. And you obviously typically will have an in and an out. Uh, so let me just show you a, a way to do that. Uh, there you go. And you have a flow, and you can build things like that. Now, bringing back uh, a typical model. Now, I did not build this. This was somewhere on the internet. I posted the link on it already. I'll let you search for that. But what you get here is a very basic idea of how to build your algorithm. So and essentially, you have within your workspace these uh, values, your price, your spread, high, low, all that stuff. You can break it down. It's essentially like a little, what they call a subsystem, which is a further breakdown of um, further blocks. Um, so you have here, these are from your workspace. These are constant. Uh, let me just show you. That. So this, this is a typical 
uh, workspace uh, variable, open, sample time, samples per frame, whatever that might mean. I'll, I'll probably figure all that out. And then you have consoles that you can define as well. Um, as well, and you can obviously build signals with this as well. So I'm just really preliminary stuff here. Um, but uh, there's also another thing called uh, state flow, and that's what you're looking at here. I'll show you a better one. Um, what state flow is is that it enables you to have your events from your algorithms, from your uh, whatever uh, data that you have come in. You, you can build uh, events around it, and then based upon certain conditions, you can have it. Uh, send it off to another block uh, as well. So you can imagine you can build a very extensive uh, visual model with Simulink around this. So a good example of a, of a, of a detailed um, subsystem is this right here. Um, let me just try uh, zooming in, just give you a better repre representation. Now I'm not going to go into details of what this is, but um, obviously you, 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 ha you can set up data on a certain condition do a certain state okay and then off you go and off it runs and then based upon that it'll, it'll do certain actions based upon the flow of that data that's what state flow does so here it's probably got a parameter of 18 uh, percent or here, here here's the condition right here and you, you, you can visually build it and then the other thing is when you go back into your uh, into your state flow okay or sorry, you're into your, uh, uh, well, I'll call it uh, your model. You can run and start simulating your uh, your simulation. So you, you can simulate this, okay? Now, it doesn't stop there. This is where it gets very exciting. Uh, now, the version of uh, Simulink I'm running, or of MATLAB I'm running is 2011A. Here we got the MATLAB coder. Now I've gone on about MATLAB coder, and it's no different. Everything's built off of the MATLAB coder, including the J Builder, sorry, the Builder uh, JA, the Builder NE. Um, no different is the um, Simulink uh, stuff as well. So in Simulink, you have something called a Simulink coder. Okay, so essentially. Uh, I haven't done this yet, uh, but uh, you can take your Simulink uh, diagram, this guy, and because it's from within the Simulink environment, you can, and I repeat, you can generate C and C++ code using that simulator, uh, uh, sorry, Simulink coder right here. This guy will do the same thing as MATLAB coder, but because you're building your algorithm visually, you should not run into any problems. So you sh um, what I'm saying is that you should be able to do it 100%. Uh, uh, build your, your your generate your code 100% because it's all done within the Simulink. Now, the interesting part is, as I said, there's a MATLAB function block, so you could you could create. Um, let me just see if I can find it here. Uh, pull up my library. Um, okay, so I'm going to search for it. Let's see, mat lab function. There we go. Okay, so let me just pull up my empty uh, my blank guy. Uh, uh, doesn't matter. I'll create a new model. Okay, so we're gonna create a new model. Let me just show you what this this entails. Now, remember, this is my first time actually seeing this. Okay, so we're just going to drag and drop the MATLAB function. Now, there's two different ones. Um, the MATLAB function is the most flexible. So you can build your MATLAB function in here, blah, 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 right? Put all your logic in there. Now, the difference is when you do your MATLAB um, uh, function, you've got to make sure that you avoid um, any... Uh, uh, what I'll call external MATLAB based functions like something like um, uh, ECMI uh, I, I can't remember or or, or ADF uh, doesn't matter but as long as you keep your your logic and your MATLAB functions within the base of MATLAB you should be able to you, you should be fine 
So essentially, if I have, let's say, an input of u, in the case I'll call it a, b, and then maybe uh, a, or no, let's call it uh, d, e, f. So these right here are the output, and these are the input, okay? So let's see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to save this. Call it uh, an old test function. Okay, I got some error here. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got to create a different model. Now you can see how intuitive, I'll just call this uh, uh, test model function. Okay. It's looking for this extension MDL, okay? That's for within the world of uh, Simulink, okay? So we're gonna call this test model function. So here's what our, our, uh, our uh, little function will look like now. So we have here our two input, U, A, B, and our external or outflow is C, E, F, which is these guys right here, or D, sorry, D, E, F. And in here is what what you put in here. You can go X, do whatever you want, you know, some kind of algorithm. And again, because if you keep everything within this uh, ecosystem of Simulink, which is part of MATLAB, but just keep it within the world of, of, of Simulink, you then should be able to come along and generate your Simulink code or uh, use the Simulink coder to generate your C++ and C. Now, as I said, the other big advantage with this is uh, FPGA, okay? Um, I've done a complete analysis with FPGA. Uh, if you want to see my, my opinion of it, just go to the YouTube uh, channel, Quant Labs, or just go to the, the blog, quantlabs.net slash blog, search FPGA, um, and you'll see all my opinions and, and research that I put into the FPGA um, of from within MATLAB and, and, and Simulink and another good set of resources is obviously the MATLAB webinars. Um, so this is really powerful um, and um, I just want to give you guys a quick intro to all this. Um, so do expect some uh, other videos coming with Simulink. I'm hoping uh, this, this, this is my, we'll call it breakthrough technology to be able to visually build a algorithm or a model and then be able to uh, um, build it and, and generate from this C++ or, or C, I mean, but but primarily C++ and then drop it into my platform. Um, but this is the power of MATLAB, folks, with, with, with Simulink uh, in place. Um, worth every penny. Uh, obviously, it's not a cheap option, but uh, from that point of view, when you save yourself probably thousands of dollars in coders or programmers as well as the time just to get the model right instead of raw coding, you can do it visually. Um, Again, very powerful. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this, and uh, this is the intro to what I'm hoping will be more simulate to do strategy and algorithm uh, development.